So here we have the last part of this tutorial, the four steps to writing an Arduino program. And I've just thrown everything that we've worked on in this project into a program called Tinkercad. You can go online. It's a free online simulator for Arduino. You can build circuits and you can draw a CAD. Um, it's just tinkercad.com. I'll try to share a link to this project so that you can see the simulator. But essentially, we've got our Arduino code here on the right. We've got the serial monitor on the bottom right. And then we've got our Arduino with the LED, the ping sensor, and the servo connected to it in the proper pins. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, start the simulation and we'll test it out. Um, just playing around with distances, playing around with how the servo works. And this is really just a good way to test out the code, make any little adjustments that you need to, and polish up your project. So we'll go ahead and start the simulator. And so right now I've got the object is at 20 inches away from the ping sensor. So at 20, that means it's less than 25 and greater than 15. So we have this LED that's on. If I go ahead and move this less than 15, we should see that this guy shuts off. The LED is now off. And we're just resetting our servo to the original start position. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bump it Let's see, we'll bump it all the way up to 30, or greater than 30 and less than 40. And we'll see that our servo is moving. So that looks good. Now we'll go back to where we started between 15 and 25. And you can see the LED is back on, and then we're resetting our servo. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you master these four steps, you'll be well on your way to creating fabulous Arduino programs. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.